Hello and welcome to this video. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing a plugin spotlight. And so uh, the, the plugin that I'm going to be talking about today is the Blockmeister Block Pattern Builder. Now, um, just to give you some context of to why I'm doing this video is to um, just to point out the benefits of using this plugin uh, in your projects or in your client projects or even if you have a WordPress website and you want to uh, make things easier for yourself to be able to manage your content uh, a little bit better. So let's uh, let's crack into this. So um, why am I talking about this plugin? Now this plugin came across my radar very recently. Um, it's pretty cool because I'm currently working on a side project at the moment. Um, where I needed to create a um, a block pattern uh, that immediately displays when somebody goes and adds a new post. So for example, I've created, uh, I'll just show you on the screen. So I've created a custom post type uh, called books. Okay, so I've got the books here. Now I've already created a um, a book here, just, uh, just threw together a demo book. Here we go, this is this is the, the, the pattern here. Um, so essentially what I want is I want this block here, uh, which is built with stackable, to just load automatically. Okay, so um, now of course the, uh, the book's not gonna be here because this is getting picked up through the featured image over the side here. And, um, and then we got some custom fields as well for the buy on Amazon and buy on Kindle um, links down here, which link to those buttons. So, Essentially, yeah, so I just wanted to, um, you know, when somebody clicked on add new book, then that would just automatically pop up in, you know, in that display format. Uh, now, there is a way to do it, but I just haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> yeah, it's called, it's creating a, um, a block pattern in code, and I just haven't really figured, been able to figure it out. Anyway, so this this plugin just came across my radar because I was doing a bit of a search in the stackable Facebook page and uh, other people were sort of querying about the same thing and somebody uh, linked to this plugin. And um, whilst it uh, doesn't do exactly what I want it to do, it does make things a little bit easier. So I've gone ahead and I've installed that plugin. Uh, so just under plugins install, add new. I've installed that plugin, so there it is. Um, and what that does is it puts a block pattern uh, menu here in the sidebar. So let's go and, um, well, first of all, what I'll do is I will go back to my book uh, that I've created. Uh, I'll open that up and edit it. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um, select the, the full column here, and I'm just gonna go and copy. Okay, so that copies all the code uh, of that particular block and everything in it, all the text and stuff like that. Now, this is these are, um, as I said, these are uh, dynamic fields. So this this image here is pulling in the um, featured image, and this text here or the title is bringing in the title of the post. Um, and I'm using the stackable premium. Um, plugin to do all this okay so um, you can't use the free version of it uh, you, you do have to get the paid version to get the dynamic uh, stuff and that sort of makes it easier and I've also um, put links on here that are um, that are uh, dynamic as well uh, if we go into the link here we can see that it's got um, the uh, the link is is dynamically being added based on what we've put here in the custom fields all right so uh, I am using uh, advanced custom fields as well to create the fields and I've actually coded the custom post type as well. Um, and I might do another video on how to create a custom post type as well uh, via a plugin and also by coding it. Um, but I'll do that in another video. So um, let's now go. So I've copied this as you saw, just copy it again just in case. Now I'm going to go down to block patterns and I'm going to add a new one. And I'm going to call this uh, book layout, and I'm just going to paste that. So I'm just going to um, command V 
and you'll see that everything's come in. Um, so the image is obviously blank, and then the um, the draft is the the title here is also blank because there's nothing. Um, make sure I delete that out as well. Um, the other cool thing about this uh, plugin is that you can then um, put things into categories. So so I've I've already created a category called layout here. Um, now I could have probably uh, called it book layout. Let me just actually do that. I'll just go book layout. Okay, so I'm doing that. So now that's been added and it's ticked. All right, so that's cool. Um, and I'll show you where that shows up when we go back to adding the new book. Um, okay, and I'm gonna just publish that. <clears throat> okay, so if we go to all patterns now, you'll see that I've got um, the book layout there now. And it's under the category book layout and I don't even use the keywords and stuff like that, so don't worry about it. Okay, so now um, what I would do is I would instruct my client uh, in this case, uh, so when they're wanting to add a new book to their um, to their library because uh, they're selling a book or whatever, uh, they would then go to add new book, and then they would put in the title of the book, so book name here. And then, so instead of them having to recreate that whole layout again, all they have to do is go up into the nifty, which is all, which is also in Gutenberg. Um, click on the plus icon here, and um, then we go into patterns. Okay. Then we, uh, in this drop down, we can see that we've got that book layout category here. So we can just do that. And then voila, ha, there's our layout. So then we can just click that and boom, it's straight in. And then all they have to do is, uh, the client also, all, ha all they have to do is just go into the um, featured image and put the image of the book in. And then that will dynamically populate in there. And then they, um, if it's on Amazon or, um, uh, or on Kindle, they can put in the links there. Um, but if they, um, if they don't sell it on uh, on e Amazon or Kindle, uh, they can just go in and delete the buttons. So they can just click on a button and then they can just remove the button, like so. And this doesn't uh, this doesn't affect you know any other book page or anything because these aren't linked. Um, they're just basically standalone patterns. Um, so that's kind of gotten me to where I need to be right now um, but what I would what I'd like to get to and when I do figure it out I'll do a video on it um, in how to actually make this um, format just appear as soon as you press add new book or add new whatever post type you want to put so so everything's laid out correctly so all the all the client has to do or the end user the editor or whatever um, all they have to do is just come in, add new, and then the layout's already done for you. Um, and then you just, uh, and then they just populate it with all the content that they need. And um, and you can also um, lock the layout as well, so they can't add anything to it. So they can't add any uh, additional blocks to it or anything like that. But at the moment they can. So you know it's possible that they can sort of break things or make things look a little bit messy. Um, but um, but this has kind of got me that little bit extra step closer. So um, so yeah, just a shout out to that um, to that plugin and to the guys on Stackable Community on Facebook for um, uh, letting me know about this, letting the community know about this plugin as well. Um, it is actually really quite great, and uh, it gets me to where I need to be um, right now until I figure out how to code all this um, into a yeah into into a post block or a block pattern um, which is a little bit tricky with um, stackable at the moment so uh, as soon as I find that out I will do a video on that for sure and I will show you how to do it um, but yeah but this is uh, this is pretty awesome as well so that's it that's all I'm going to do uh, for this video uh, so if you liked it and um, you want to see more videos like this uh, you know make sure to um, subscribe if you want 
we don't have to. Um, we could just come back randomly. <laughs> but the good thing about subscribing and hitting the notification is then you know that I'm going to be putting out some new videos. So that's the benefit of that. But you don't have to, obviously. Um, not really selling myself here, am I? <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, so, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.